Let's load up. Gloomhaven. You haven't played... Well, Gloomhaven... Hmm. Gloomhaven and Heroes of Might and Magic are pretty... Pretty different, I'd, I'd say. Yeah, I could see it from the pictures, Trags. Really looked a lot like Heroes of Might and Magic. Definitely. Now, I've been thinking a little bit about my team here. We're gonna do... We are at party level 2 here. Now, for enhancements... He wants four enhancements, but... It is said it's similar? Hmm. That's kind of cool. Gloomhaven is fantastic. Now, we have to decide whether we want to, like, play this guy through all of the Jaws of the Lion missions. I think we're doing that, because I can never do this... I'm never going to be able to do this personal quest before I do some of the main story quests. Main storyline. Uh, this I might be able to do. I don't know. I haven't met any demons yet. So we could go for... Like, look at the money on him. Uh, would be cool to... Hmm. It would be awesome to be able to enchant my people. Uh, what is the quickest route? To, I think I'm, I'm gonna go for the Enchantress next. And we're just gonna keep, like, this one. Oh, shit. A Chaos Demon. Oh, that is so fun. And a Blood Tumor. Okay, so there's... What? Oh, it's a boss. Okay, okay. Kill the Blood Tumor. Okay, so this is the boss. Uh, yeah. I think we're gonna wait a little bit with this one now, which is one of the new missions from Jaws of the Lion. Uh, and instead we're gonna... We're gonna try and unlock the Enchantress. Uh... I think Enoch's Encampment is the best way to go now. Now, we're kind of weak. I would like to go through this playthrough without losing a single mission. The Casual Vikings is going for the Inox Encampment next. Yes, let's do it. The Dead Trigs. Gloomhaven is fantastic. And uh, if you want to play it sometime, uh, message me on uh, like Discord or something. Because I, uh, I can play this off stream as well. Or on stream. But yeah, it's a hard, hard, uh... Yes, Emma, I... I misclicked. I misclicked. That's what's happened. I was supposed to get some leaves for a guy taking a shit. Uh, and uh, then I clicked the wrong one, so I stole his stuff instead. <laughs> As you walk down... A derp oh, is this the... I don't suppose one of you might be willing to part with the stamina potion. Okay, so a guy is asking for a stamina potion. Hey, Saint Leof! Hey, man. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Lose one minor st stamina potion. Uh, was I not able to choose which dude does that? We're going to give everything to Casual Viking because I'm the leader. Here. How are you doing, Saint Leof? Uh, one mercenary must lose this item. Does everyone have it? Red shiny panda loses it. Hmm. Yes, right? So this merchant wants to make an example of They all look really... Person. We have two Enochs and... That seems reasonable enough. Some, like, two-faced... the right amount of money. ...human Almost kind of anything. dude. You enter the dagger forest. Yeah, so we're out down the encampment Ooh. using Jixera's crew. House chores. Yes, I'm also getting some house chores done right now, actually. As in, I'm streaming for 12 hours and my girlfriend is doing house chores. I love my life. Um, 
Yes. Ah, oh, Professor 3, 8, 14. This is number 3, right? Yes. Yeah, because I thought... So that's this one. Then the warehouse, right? And then I think that's, that's what I had in my head, Professor. Uh, no, like, look at Casual. He has 89 coins, Professor. I want to get... I just want to be able to en enchant people. And then I'm going all in. And then maybe we're changing Casual the Hatchet to someone else. I don't need to play, like, Void Warden and Hatchet up to level 9 immediately. I'm fine with waiting with that. And just like, I like to keep some surprises in the game for me. I think there's a bunch, a bunch of the mercenaries I have never played at level 9, actually. Never perform a basic action, okay? Or seven or few. Never perform a basic action. Never. Perform. Yes, Saint Leof, they are. So, the four new uh, mercenaries, St. Leof, you can start with them like you can with the, the Brute, Tinkerer, Scoundrel, uh, Mind Thief. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you get the Cragheart. Sorry. You get the Spell Weaver. Yeah. I had to finish. I'm like Sheldon Cooper. Let's go. Uh, okay. This is hard. Seven or fewer experience points. Or. No. They, uh, so. All of the missions are also in the main campaign. It's fantastic, man. Yeah, we're gonna try Seven of Your. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Right. So, and also, I don't, yeah. I wanna be able to finish the personal quest, to be honest. Kill an elite or kill a monster not adjacent to you while you are adjacent to another. A red shiny panda is not good at killing things because he makes other kill things. Let's try Shirker. Uh, nobody gets exhausted. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna just gonna try and get the... We got a lot of money on uh, the hatchet. Now, usually this mission is quite hard because when you come to this mission, or if you've leveled up some people when you come here, I usually don't, but now we're actually doing this mission and we have leveled up some people. Um, so these guys are going to move, they're moving three. That's a freaking problem. I'm thinking this one. We do this on the Brute here. Give him a shield. And... I could stun. I don't really need to stun if I shield him there. Now, I could make everyone move. <laughs> Force all enemies to move within three. Uh, that means two damage for this guy. That means this guy moves a bit away. We move at 15. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. But I like this one, though. We need to get to the door on the other side here. What's happening here for people who haven't played it is... We're gonna have a spawner right here, and that's gonna deactivate once this door is open. Now, of course, I could just stand in the back here and just fight. Uh, but my plan is to kind of rush forward and kill and open the door. The rushing will have to be done by... The Brute. Um, we're not... Why? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I would need 11 movement to get to the door. I can open the door in the first round. I could open in the first round. Juggernaut. And this one. And and this one. That's two. That's eight. That's ten. That's eleven, twelve. And then I would have to get back here. The problem with this is that and I have invisibility cloak. That's true, Professor, but I don't mind. I, I usually rush the door, actually. I usually do it with someone that goes up here and goes invisible, though. And then I go back and we just fight and let the people here come and stuff. Um, but I'm just looking at my options right now. I gotta have some kind of a strategy, at least. Mm, I want to get the favorite out. So we're going to get the favorite out. That's just... He could also push someone. He could go late. Or... Or... Now, the issue here is that, hmm, if I want to do this, I can't get a good skewer in, which I kind of want to do. I think we're going to do this, actually. Even though I don't get the... Ah, uh, I don't get the skewer. I think we're gonna save this. Oh my god. Oh, this one. Oh, hook and chain. It's not often you can move for and do the attack here. I go first and I do move for and I disarm this guy. I think we're gonna try this and then you can move the brute wherever you want it is daniel absolutely so like just to explain a few things daniel the most important thing is that these are my cards every round i choose two of them and i have to choose one top and one bottom i can change that but like if i choose Provoking Roar and Hook and Chain here. I will either do attack two and disarm someone, which means doing two damage and making them not able to attack. And the bottom here, which is move four. Or I could do the top of Hook and Chain when it's my turn and the bottom of Provoking Roar. So yeah, feel free to ask about anything if you're watching here. I think we're gonna do this. This is my level three card. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's go. Okay. Okay. This is good. Um, he's going to move before. So the Inox guards are standing still, which is pretty uh, awesome for me. So we're going to move in a straight line here. That lets us attack. So we're gonna attack him and sure we'll do poison on him he's gonna die rather quickly this guy and we can do this as well 
Yeah, he's gonna die from the skewer I'm planning to use. Oh, I have the Doom Compass here as well. This lets me mind control someone and move them. So he's done. Um, yeah, this is completely useless now. Or, hmm. So I can control every single enemy within range 3 and move them one space. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move some of these people a bit away. Or this guy. Um, I'm doing this, so... I can actually move him into the... So he gets damaged over there. Cool. Now, I could either move this guy over here or... Here. Okay, let's go... Let's see. How, what? The archers are moving two and a range two. The archers will not be able to attack me. Uh, he has moves two, one, two, and has range four. One, two, three... Four. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, he... I need to kill the Shaman. That's gonna be my main mission after, like... I'm gonna try and do some damage to these guys. And then we're going for the Shaman. Which means... How much? He's attacking for four. Right now, I could move... The brute forward. Damn it. I could have moved the Inox Guard here next to the Void Warden, and the Void Warden could have attacked him. Because you I could use the basic here. Because this is completely useless right now. This gives a shield, but I'm not gonna get attacked this turn, so. I could move forward, but then I'll be attacked by the Shaman. So I'm just not going to do that. Uh, I think we're going to move late next... Well... Hmm. Okay, then it's Hatchet. Hatchet is gonna put out the favorite, which is a permanent buff here, so that he can do some sick attacks. Uh, if I stand here, I'll get attacked by the Shaman. Now, I'm thinking next turn... I kind of want to do... This one with the fancy hat. Three attacks or two. But I won't be able to hit the Shaman Elite then. So if I throw my axe, I'll do like three extra damage on my next attack. We could do this one with range five next turn. That's pretty sweet. Okay, we're just gonna stand here. Yeah. I think I need to prioritize that. Uh, hmm. Okay, I know what I want to do. I want to do Skewer and Leaping Cleave. One, two, three, four, five, and go on these two. <sighs> I think I'll do Skewer and Leaping Cleave here. This will allow me to do pretty much whatever I want.
Uh, burning a few cards in the first room here. That's okay as well. How far can I move? I can move four. One, two, three, four. I am planning... Like, I feel... I could use Invisibility Cloak. No problem here. Hmm. This is really good. I could go for this guy. Let's see, hatchet. Range 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <laughs> I would attack for 3, 6 on uh, him. Like, I could go super hard. At, well, I can't do this as well. Stopping power. That's pretty good. Move three, possibly five. One, two, three, four, five. I think maybe we'll go for this. Do I have anything? else cool on the bottom move and push that's okay i don't need to do that uh the archers have an attack of three so yeah i'm probably gonna let these archers just attack me one two three four So if I want to jump onto these guys, I would have to use my boots to end up like here. One, two, three, four. I might not use the burn. Okay, and then I move four. I'll just do Gift of the Void, I think. Let's go with that. Okay, we'll try this. Okay, Shaman is healing. That's fine. That's fine. Ooh, archers are putting out traps. That's cool. And Inox guards are moving too. Okay. I have a doomed compass here, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know if he's gonna move. We're just gonna go with this, right? I could stun him, but I feel that's unnecessary. Stunning him would just not take the three damage. Let's just go. Double damage? Really? No. Okay, eight damage. That's good. That's good. Yeah, right? He's gonna go over here, actually. <laughs> One, two, three. He's gonna go there. Unless. Unless I go next to him. Mm, One, two, three, four. Damn. You can only move four? Crap.
There? No, because he don't want to go into the hazardous terrain, Professor. Or the trap, right? So I think he should be move trying to go around here. Trying to move to this space and move all around. Which means it's going to screw up my uh, skewer. Yeah. One, two. If I stand over here... The kind of question here is that, like, okay, I think I'm gonna go for... Yeah, I'm gonna not jump over here. I kind of need to kill this guy. It's an attack for three on these guys, it's not that big. The archers are pretty weak. Well, I think we'll go try and kill these two guys. With, or uh, kill this guy and attack this guy. This was hard. I'm gonna stand right there. We'll take an attack. It's fine. Yeah. Yes, we're going here. <sighs> What? No, he healed himself. Because he was going over there. And he had poison anyways, so... Go, buddy. <laughs> I think I think we discussed this, Professor. <laughs> okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm doing invisibility here. Oh yeah, I don't get my damn it. Okay, I used that. Hmm. Uh, okay. <sighs> Come on. Okay, that's good. I have a shield, my hatchet. <laughs> I laugh at your pain. Is it an other one? Is it one every single round around here? Okay, we kind of want to go late with Void Warden here. <sighs> yeah, he's gonna attack a bunch of people. Um. So I have the Doom Compass. That means he can make this guy move on to the trap, which is 3 damage. Spare Dagger will then kill this guy. I feel like there's a lot of people next to me right now. <laughs> a bunch of them could attack each other. Oh, I've used that, okay. I think we're going to try and go early here. Uh, 
if I do this, I kind of want to do the top. Normal every round. Normal every second round. Okay. Ah. Uh, attack for five. Bless and strengthen. That's cool. Ooh, the top hair is really good, right? I can make him attack two people. Do I really need, like, hatchet? Do I have a jump on you? I'm gonna have troubles getting... Six unit counters, yeah. Uh, it's one for one of each of my guys, Daniel. And uh, then there's this archer. Uh, that is both of the archers. Inox Archer and Inox Archer. They're gonna do the same thing every turn. Like, basically each enemy, each enemy type draws like from uh, a supply of cards that tells, uh, tells you what they will do. So we're gonna draw one card for the uh, archer here, and that's gonna count for both of these two guys. Then we have the shaman, which is this guy. He's gonna draw a card. And then we have the Inox Guards, which are one, two, three, four, five people. Uh, that's They're all going to do the same. <clears throat> okay, but like, this is... <clears throat> I really don't want to get attacked. Cloak with Hatchet. Definitely doing Cloak with Hatchet, and then I'm just going to try to do as much damage as I can. Okay, he could also just kill this guy. That would also be helpful. Follow through here. That's gonna be an attack for four against... It's gonna be an attack for five, actually, against the Inox Shaman. Uh... Um... Then I would kind of have to run away. None of my guys have really taken. No, I think we'll go with as much damage as possible here. And meddle some people. Void Warden is... Yeah, I know. I know. But I might need him to deal with the Shaman, you know? I think I can kind of protect him anyways. I could have taken like the one hit here, in my opinion. I should have taken the hit from the Inox Guard last round. Uh, I can't have too many more Inox Guards here. Ooh, Trample. Let's do Trample. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could attack some guys. Let's do Spare Dagger and Trample here. That's fine. Then he can pretty much go anywhere. Uh, and I probably go before the guards, right? He's doing damage. If I want to go late, I could go with this. I mean, both of them are probably going to be safe now, and I think the Brute will be able to kill the Shaman. Right, Professor? Because the Shaman is what I'm worried about. Like, if he goes really early and disarms me now, uh, that's going to be pretty nasty. If I go here, I could disarm someone and force them to move. That's not a bad idea. We have dark magic as well, so... Okay, let's do this.
Immobilize is gonna be on Hatchet, right? That's fine, that's fine. 50 and, oh, two targets, we don't like that. Okay, that's nice, even though he's almost dead. What's the range on these guys? Three, okay. I could stun, move three. One, two, three, four. These guys are not dangerous. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's go. Okay. Like, I'm struggling with the amount of guards showing up right now. I need to stop the... The, uh, the spawns. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could open. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? What's up with the boots here now? Why aren't my boots working? Any... anyone? <laughs> The boots! I need my boots! That's kind of important right now. I'm gonna choose the exact same cards, uh, but... I can't do that and do like the same targets and everything. Uh, so I chose this and this, yes. I chose the spare and they do, they draw the same cards as well. So this will not change anything except I should be able to add the boots to this. Yep. And I did crushing cold. The disarm here, or I could burn two cards to do a lot of damage. Yep. <clears throat> that hurts a lot. These are the three guys I attacked, right? I think so. Okay, that's important. Like, not using the cloak here, that would probably kill me. I would not be able to finish this mission then. Uh, actually, I was thinking about this. If I should have used some kind of uh, card here. To, I could get, like, power pitch back now. And hatchet. This is really bad. And it's just wrong. 
I did this earlier, right? This should add two movement to my... Hmm. Okay. So we're handicapped here as well. That's fun. <laughs> this is so bad. Because this was going to protect me from like... Well, I can't do that, Professor. Uh, with the Shaman, the thought was using the compass uh, to moving on to this trap and then doing Spare Dagger on him. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, I'm gonna get attacked by people. Hmm. What's next turn? What card do I use next turn? I want to open next turn, definitely. I can move four. Okay. So we're just going to be able to attack these two guys. Uh, they're already muddled. Hmm. I might kill him with this attack. Plus one on the Shaman with this, he's dead. So I kind of want to do this first. <laughs> this guy is not going to be able to attack me if I stand there. I think... S but then I'll get disadvantage. <laughs> I I was thinking one, two, three, four, five, six, possibly. Um Yeah, I don't want to get attacked by this dude. That's two damage. Hmm. That's gonna allow both of these guys to attack me. So they're gonna attack me anyways. I might as well stand here. Yeah, this might like this bug might be a reason why we do not. Yeah, I did. I did, Professor. Earlier there. Let's go. Yeah, this feels silly, but still, we want to get rid of him. The biggest problem here right now is we might get someone in the way of uh, the door here, because they're going to spawn. Okay, that's good. Nice muddle. Mm, so I could kill people here. <laughs> um, This is 3 damage, and this is 2 damage. So if I move him onto these two, he's gonna take a lot of damage. And we're gonna open the way for me, which is... Oh shit, it's move 3! Crap, I could have gone with the guard. I thought, like, I, I was thinking movement 2, okay.
He's disarmed, that's good. Uh... <laughs> Okay, let's stand here. Metal. <laughs> Who gets to attack next turn? I can probably kill this guy and this guy. That's good. Let's do that guy. Now, we definitely need to move, move someone so that the Brute can get to the door. Move to, like, this is going to be a lot of movement. Uh, and then we, and then we can move back here. That's what I want to do now. I want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get back here with the Brute. Um, you could stun the acting enemy. Okay, so suggestion is... Yeah, we're gonna burn the top here. Now, I really, I really... <laughs> I wanted to do this one, though, and kill this guy, because that would do uh, finish my uh, quest here. But I think we need this guy to be moved, right? Um... Hatchet. Hatchet. Oh, shit. Look at this. Uh, the problem, the hatchet, I'm, I've lost this hatchet. <laughs> this I'm not able to get back. This will kill him. I'll push him onto the hazardous terrain. Fantastic. This will heal someone. That's not too important right now. Unless I heal myself. But I don't think I'm going to. Uh, yeah, the bottom not using this. Let's do repeat shot here. I could, of course, go a little bit later, and maybe... Okay, if I do this, I might be able to heal uh, the Brute here. That's great. <clears throat> Suggestion. This is gonna be him moving over here, attacking, hopefully killing one of these guys. Uh, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, this would be amazing as well. This is so cool. I guess I'll heal, so I'll stun someone. Yeah, I can stun another dude. I should probably run a little bit. I'll do this one and we'll decide whether we move or stun someone. Okay. Sound plan. Okay. Guards are not moving. That is great news. Uh, we're not going to attack too many of them anyways. Not in close combat, at least. And the archers are kind of useless. Great draw. Great draw for us. <sighs> Where's the speed up button? <laughs> Why can I not do double speed here right now? Wasn't there a button over here that allowed you to do double speed? On the animations earlier? Now we're gonna get a helmet here. That we want to give to our... Uh, I think we want to give it to uh, the brute. Yes. We are going to be able to do that like once here.
We can force him to attack this guy. If I'm unlucky, he'll kill him, right? No, it looks like that's gone, Professor, right? Of course, I could go with... Oh no, shit. I need to move him so that... <laughs> I was about to... Like, moving him up here would be better, because he would kill himself. Uh, but... But I need to move this guy so I can enter the door. One, two, three, one... Okay, this guy is better, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With this I can move further if I move him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's this thing again. Yeah. And now I choose my target. There we go. So I have to press this before I choose the target, right? If I choose target, then press this, then I can't choose the target again. It's really weird. Yeah, we went for this guy. This, I want to have, like, as many of my enemies in the back. Ooh! I uh, can't attack anyone from there? Damn it. That was tempting though. Run over there. Attack for three. Um, hmm. Yeah, I want to kill this guy, though. Do I leave him alone? Hatchet can attack four. Uh, at range three, one, two, three, he can attack for two. I want to make sure this guy dies, you know? I think I'll go for the archer here. It seems like the safest option here. I don't want to take that attack for four. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have gotten the retaliate. <laughs> okay. Um Sure, let's do that guy. And I get a curse, that's fine. Now we're going to take a little bit of retaliate uh, when we do... It's going to move one and attack at range. That's not dangerous. This is not dangerous. Uh, yeah, let's go here. Um... I could stand here now. I don't need to use my boots. That's kind of good. Do I want to attack? Take the retaliate? That's another question. I do one damage. I take two damage. Let's ignore that.
Yeah, let's go. Well, I mean, I was doing one damage, so that's an okay time to get a miss. What are we doing next turn? Hmm. Oh, I have to push him too. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, they never move. Oh, they might move four actually, but that's fine. So four out of 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys here now. What? Professor, what the hell was that? <laughs> Wasn't he supposed to go here? That was weird. Uh, okay. They're shy. <laughs> but why did they go over to the wall? That makes no sense. Um, one ally within range? No, not doing that. Do I do Master Influencer right now? I guess I'm moving and... Let's do Master Influencer. That sounds okay. No. They should go... The quickest route to range 4 on this guy is on... The, there's traps there, of course. But since there's no other way to get to my people, they should go across the traps. Uh, let's try this. And let's hope that he doesn't get attacked a bunch before that. I'll do these two. Sure. Let's go. Shaman moves two... Yeah, that's really bad for me. Because of him. Like, <laughs> yeah. They're gonna be able to <laughs> reach all of my people now. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. So these guys are stunned. That's great. He's number four. Ah, damn it. He's gonna go one, two, three, four. He's gonna go one, two, three, four. Both of these guys are gonna attack my Void Warden. That was really bad. Um, and I need to protect hatchet here so we're definitely gonna do a uh, short rest on uh, him which is sad can I kill any of these guys not really no I don't want to go there Okay, he moves, he's number six, this guy is number five. So if I stand there, he's gonna move on to this spot, which means he's gonna go for hatchet. So I can't stand here. <sighs> I'm gonna have to take the damage here, right? This is freaking stupid. Mm, okay.
No! Oh, come on. Oh? He was closer? He was closer, right? No. I would have gotten here. Couldn't get to the to this spot, which I thought would make sure my hatch didn't get attacked. Cause I was standing here, so no, I was standing. Cause I pre like if I press this place, he only wanted to go there. Where did I stand? Seems like he should have gone one, two, three, four. Yeah. You might be right. Okay, why did I not? Why did he not choose to do that immediately then? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna stun this guy. Um, we are gonna go and do a long rest on him. <laughs> Boots! Uh, he's gonna have to short rest, I believe. I could maybe long rest, actually. Do I do this? Or... I would rather do the bottom right now. <sighs> um, okay. We're gonna do the attack. Plus two! Let's go. Okay, let's short rest here. Uh, ooh. I have to accept this, I think. If I lose Leaping Cleave, I'm kind of screwed. Yeah, that was not what I wanted to lose, definitely. Uh, spare dagger? Or... I wanna... 27? Is that like... That's probably good enough against the guards. Might not be. I'm just gonna go safe here and go at 15. Mm. I want a long rest. I'm gonna long rest. They move too fantastic. Uh, we're hoping that Shaman does not heal. One, two. Oh, range five? One, two, three, four. F okay. Range five is good. That's tempting to just. Ah! Let's fight our way out of here, but I don't think that's gonna work. So let's do this. Mm, we're gonna take the attack for three hair. Can't avoid that. Well, I can if I go there, right? But he's gonna move two, one, two, and have a range of five. One, two, three, four, five, five. So if I go there. I will not be immobilized, which is better. Yep.
Now, I think we have to do the the burn where everyone attacks each other next turn, right? I don't think I have a choice in that matter. Is that range 3? So if I stand like there, uh, all of these guys are going to attack each other. Well, okay, he's not going to do that. Or I could go for a heal. I could go back and go for a heal as well. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> Damn. I don't think I can go here and use the attack thing. Also, it would be real nice to do this one at the same time. Heal these two guys for two. I kind of feel like I have to do that. I can do Resign Frenzy. Get in the back. Heal people. I'm gonna keep this. Mm. I'm removing Master Influencer here. Advantage is good, but. Oh, they get advantage. Oh, yeah, so. Okay. So even though I have some curses, uh, Master Influencer is gonna let me get rid of those curses. Priest... Uh, I'm thinking Priest the Soul here. Yeah, let's burn that. And White Warden's turn. Full health. Uh, you need to get some healing. I like this, I like this. Yeah, I like this a little bit longer, I think. <laughs> um, so, we're gonna struggle getting the axe. Retrieval, no. Move one and loot one is good still. Yeah, this can be pretty amazing. Oh, they can do uh, a ranged attack as well. I haven't seen them do that yet. Maybe this one? The bottom is pretty good, but the top isn't... Isn't useful right now. Yeah, I'll burn repeat shot. Sure. So he's three away. That's kind of safe. Ooh, I could do this. I can go at 27 and try and run away. <sighs> Range 2, that's so bad. Moving everyone like back. Uh, I could move someone. Give them shield. I kind of want to go early now and just get the hell out of here. Move three yourself. Then I do spare dagger and... Ooh, hook and chain. Oof. Depending on what my enemies does, this might be pretty good. Yeah, we're doing a ranged attack, that's fine. I think we're pushing people away, because that might save my life. Or do I do that early 
on, maybe. It has range three. Okay. Guards are moving slow. Fantastic. And he's not, he's still not reaching my people. Um, do, do, do. I make frost. Go here and I shoot that guy back. I could get him like far back or I could move in into position to charge this guy. <laughs> but I can't take the move to attack two thing. Okay. Okay, okay. We're gonna stand there. Uh, I'm not planning on getting attacked, so muddle is completely useless. Let's just get back. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with the archer at some point. Mm. Come on. Thank you. Now, of course, killing them means that if I want to do... area attacks, they're not going to be as efficient. No. Like, without the favorite, this guy is kind of use useful. <laughs> now, in this mission, Hatchet isn't, like, isn't getting to show off. Because, yeah. One, two. Oh, shit. He can do a lot of damage next turn with the fancy hat and stuff. We're gonna go fancy hat and disorienting barrage. I can move instead of using the plus one to all attacks. If I use that, I'm gonna be able to attack three guys here. That's good. Uh, do we do grab and go and ooh skewer? Go late, do the skewer thing. I think we do. That sounds good. I'm kind of sad I used hook and chain. Because move four up here. Um, you need to control the enemies somehow. Like, this is fantastic. But I think we're going to have to go with the heal here. Okay, I could burn this and heal with this. Or I can move with this. Inox guards. Okay, okay. They move too and have a ranged attack. That's unfortunate. <laughs> He's not a problem. He's not a problem.
if I do this, I probably kill this guy. Ooh. If I stand here, he's gonna get attacked by three dudes with an attack of three. It doesn't matter if I have he has muddle or not. If I move one, two. I think we're gonna have to do this. I think we're gonna get two attacks on Void Warden here now. Really? I could bring that ba card back, but I'm not going to. Now he's gonna stand in the way, which is good. Of uh, a couple of the others. So I think only he will be able to attack. We're having some trouble with our HP over here. <laughs> I think it's gonna be Resigned Frenzy and... Oh no, 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 I used the other one, okay. You are, Daniel? Yeah. This game is... I'm a big fan, Daniel. <laughs> Glad to hear it. But this, this is a hard one, this uh, mission here. And like... I'm playing on hard. So there's like, you could play on, I think there's like two difficulties higher. As you level up, you see this guy is a level three dude. Uh, and as you level up, he's going to be like level four and get more HP and stuff and maybe move further and attack for more. So I could play on a harder difficulty and this guy would be level four at this point. Hmm... Ooh. Okay, we're gonna burn a few cards now because I think I'm in. Uh... There are also some lower difficulties. Yes. I think I'm in trouble right now. Oh, that wasn't a move. I forgot. Are you kidding me? So I burned this card for two damage. It gets a lot easier when you turn down the difficulty. So, yeah. Oh, okay. He has... I, I forgot about this guy. Oh, let's go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fine. He's gonna stand right here. This feels safe. Can we... Can we do more damage on the guys we need to kill here? <clears throat> So, care package. Okay, care package and follow through. Follow through is gonna kill this guy. This Enox guard. So, definitely moving two. One, two. Push this guy. One, two. He's dead on uh, that terrain. Then we can attack someone and hopefully heal our brute a little bit. Because brute is gonna do. Hopefully not this, because then he's just gonna attack for two. But he's gonna do these two cards. Obviously, that's the cards he, ha he has left. This isn't gonna be so good anymore. Damn it. Okay, we burned quite a few cards. I don't know if I can do Master Influencer now. Like, Daniel, just so you're aware, like, when I'm out of cards, I'm dead. Uh, and if anyone takes, like, if the Brute or the Void Warden here takes three damage right now, I can burn one of my cards to avoid that damage. 
And the burn cards down here, they're never coming back. Like, in this scenario. So never was... That was the wrong use of never. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna have to go kind of early here. Or... This is tempting, but this will... If I do the attack here, I'm also going to do two damage to myself. I can heal. Hit the bottom here and disarm at 67. That means not a lot of help from you. Yeah, I think I'll be better off. An attack for three or disarm someone. Let's try this. <clears throat> okay, okay. Mm, the retaliate. I can't really handle the retaliate. The heal, kind of annoying. Attack for five at range four. That is. That is dangerous. <laughs> Hmm. So we want to avoid <laughs> the big attack from the archer here. Sadly, the shaman is gonna heal the archer at this point. The archer elite is kind of the problem right now because he's gonna do a lot of damage when he comes into range. Dealing with these guards, that's fine. And the Shaman is also going to be able to disarm, immobilize me, and stuff like that. Sadly... Ooh. Uh, this is not good right now, because... The only ones attacking each other are these two guys, and he's going to... I'm going to do one attack with this. That's not good. This is not great either right now. <laughs> Because of the retaliate. Okay, that kind of sucks. I just strengthen here then? Crap. Yeah. yeah the retaliate was really bad there. Because he was going to order my brute to attack someone. But I don't think I can do that right now. Crap. And I can't go and push him because he's going to be able to attack me, which is... That would be pretty awful. Could move over here. Hmm. Should have thought of that with the Void Warden. I could have moved. No air. Air would have fixed things here. One, one, two, three, four. Uh, I guess I'm not pushing anyone. Or I mean, I could push this guy a little bit away. Sure. Why not? Get out of here. Uh, and then I'm gonna attack this guy. Help out with some healing. That's good. That's good. Extra lift. That's a move for... Uh, I could burn it. Um, okay. Okay. 
We're gonna try and kill this guy. <laughs> yes, that's a new sound look. <laughs> Hello. I'm loving it. Girl with glasses. I'm loving it. Um, I've, uh, I've played a bunch of the new missions and I've played a little bit with Hatchet and Void Warden so far. Uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's really good. Shit. All right. <laughs> the Red Guard, I haven't tried him. Uh, he sounds cool. He sounds cool. He does, he uses like light and fire. Is that correct, uh, girl with glasses? I mean, as long as they're using elements, I'm pretty... Oh, he has tank stats, okay. That's like the most important thing to me, that they're using um, elements or have some something special. Hatchet, love him. Because of the favorite. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, sure. I can see that. So... I guess you would, like, from the start, who would you put Red Guard together with? The only one doing fire... I mean, it's Spellweaver then, right? What? They all have a special card. Okay. 21. We're definitely doing this. So we're just trying to survive here while the... Now, the reason I'm long resting with Brute is that he gets his shield back and his uh, armor. So that's going to be like 3 health. He's going to heal. So he's basically going to heal like 5 health there. Uh, so I have to do that, I feel. Uh, shit. Yeah, this, this might hurt, this round. Uh, okay, let's go with this. Yeah, the Inox Archer Elite is going to attack. And I'm probably gonna have to burn a card this round. Damn it. Playing Hatchet, Void Warden, and Red Guard. Tinkerer? Yeah. The guards are moving three attack. This is not good. Oh, this is so bad. Well, this is a disaster. Thank you, God. Yeah, I like this couldn't have gone much worse, I believe. Both, we're gonna get attacked for four damage here. Three damage by both of these guys. Mm. I'm avoiding him, right? Yeah. The Shaman is not gonna attack, but... Because he's gonna be standing right here. I think maybe I'm standing still. Or do I move back here so that these guys attack the Brute? The Brute might have to burn two cards then. Okay, he doesn't have any cards to burn, so he can't really get hit. Okay. Ooh, I could have gotten a card up to burn it. All right, girl with glasses, have a great sleep. Yep, that's a burn. So now we're starting to lose cards. That's that's bad. Now we need to get a minus one. Plus one is a disaster. Miss. We're gonna have to burn two cards here. 
Ah. Oh. We've spent so much time on this mission and There's four guys here, okay. Like, I don't have enough damage. Not with the, the hatchet not having his hatchet. His favorite. I need the movement. What do I burn? This is good. I don't know. I need the low initiative cards as well. Though this is... Yeah, I, I'm gonna burn that. Uh, okay. So, like, I can heal people. Okay. We could do the attack here. Burn another one? I don't think I can burn another card here, though. Shit. Okay. It's gonna be an attack. Double? Now we really, yeah, I, we need to get lucky with some cards now. And then we have to burn another one. <laughs> that is so bad. Okay, we're gonna have to ignore the freaking uh, chest maybe. Yeah, we're just gonna short rest here. That's fine. Short rests. Okay, we lost this one. Okay. What are we thinking here? We... I go early. I need to go early, right? Uh, maybe this is early enough. We can move four. We can... I can make someone move into this. That's good. Hatchet. Go super early. Hopefully kill this guy. I think that's what he needs to do. He has boots. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna have to be lucky with the cards right now. Because I can't burn more cards. If I'm gonna have any chance of winning this. I mean, he can burn cards. I can do this attack for six, actually. Um, hmm. I think like heal one, that sounds decent. If I do these two, I go first. Archer is attacking for three at range four before anyone moves. That's gonna be dangerous. Yeah, that's a burn. Like, really? Okay, that's freaking amazing. But, yeah. The Shaman is trying to heal. Okay, that's... That's kind of okay. Hmm. 
Mm, wait a minute. What's he doing? He's moving five. Okay, okay. So, I think they're not going to stand in a line here. Let's get some gold. Okay. Like, how many cards do we have? Like, these two guys are struggling. Hatchet is fine. Ah, he moves there. Okay, that's unfortunate. So, I could move him one. Or I can move him three. This would be an attack for two. That's not really great. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, skip the last movement. Sure. So we need to kill six more guys. <laughs> six more guys! Ugh! It's just like, okay, we... That, that feels like something that's gonna be impossible to do here. Oh, that's a good hit. Nice. The damage output is not good enough with Hatchet uh, in this mission. Okay, so you're going to attack everyone. We just have to do, like, this is the biggest attack he can do. Attack three people for a bunch of damage. Um, I'm doing Hook and Chain and Spare Dagger. Force all enemies to move. Okay. Maybe we do this. Now let's see what happens. <clears throat> Ooh, shit. The archer needs to die. Are you kidding me? Mother. <laughs> okay, we killed. We barely killed him. We did one damage. How is that possible, dude? That is so bad. And of course, I, I, uh, I actually had. Mm -hmm. I could have pushed him away this turn. Uh, we're just punching here. Curse, that might be helpful. Okay. We're gonna take a hit on our... The thing is, we're gonna be able to heal a lot from here on out, because we can long rest all the time. Uh, this guy is going to attack me, so come on. You can't miss this. Thank you. There we go. Six damage. We can attack him for eight somehow. Nope. Oh, 
Oh, we lost our curse. Damn it. Um, we are long resting. Long resting. Yeah, we're just gonna move and attack for three, I guess. We're gonna move towards our hatchet. Okay. That's good. We need to kill three more guys after this one. Hmm. Might be possible. Uh, I can't reach him right now. Ooh. No, wait. We'll just move here. We need to do the attack. <clears throat> so this might... It might get close. It might get close, actually. Hmm. And our energy... Is good. Two hours out of twelve. Man, we've spent a lot of time on this mission. <laughs> Um, I guess this one. Sure. Yep. I like the air, but other than that, it's not that good. Okay, this guy has like no freaking uh, turns left. Hey, he's long resting. Attack. Ooh, skewer. Yeah, let's go with this. That's good. Um, I'm gonna need to move four. One, two, three, four. I think we're opening this room and this room. That's my plan. Any chance of... I've, I've saved my hammer. I've forgotten about my hammer. Damn it. I need to open... I think I know what's in here. I think I know what's in here. I think these two are the easiest rooms to clear. And I think there's three enemies in them. And then there's the chest, of course. <laughs> Do we kill him? I think he's gonna kill him, hopefully. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's a big guy. He's moving one. Oh, he's moving slower, actually. Okay. We're gonna just move him towards his favorite. Because I need him to use his favorite. Yeah, I can't... I can't go on top of this right now, but... <sighs> Let's go. What do you have next turn? You have hook and chain. He's gonna be standing right there. Okay, so I could go here and then I could charge him next turn with this and do the Juggernaut as well. Um, or... I could go here. Which is better. Okay. 
So we're gonna try with Dinox to deal with this guy. That's gonna be our mission here. He has Retaliate, and he has Strength next turn, which is freaking awful. Uh, we're using... We're using Retrieval. If we use Retrieval here, like, <laughs> we're not going to be able to attack anyone. I like the range three, I like the range five on this. One, two, three, four, five. There's a chance I could use. Hmm. Uh, I don't think this is going to help us anymore, so that's fine. Let's go. Sixty-seven. Okay, she might get hit. Uh, he's moving late. Retrieval and Ooh. I will not have the extra stuff here. He's not going to be able to attack this turn. That's a bit of a problem. I need I need him to be attacking. Um, okay, care package, sure. He's moving two and attacking for four, which is going to be before him, so we just need to go here. Oh, really? Ah, shit. I didn't... That is my bad. Terrible. Like, that might be the mistake that doesn't let me kill this guy. Mm. Yeah. That's really bad. <laughs> that. No. Oh, the retali- What the hell? Oh, it's retaliate three. I wasn't... I didn't think it was that much. Hey, no problem. Um, he's alive. We didn't do any damage. He's not healing, though, so I think he'll have poison for the rest of the mission. Let's go late. What do you do? You are long resting there. So are you. Hey, buddies. That's a freaking shaman. Um, I kind of need to throw this. What are you, are you doing? It's moving two and attacking. Okay, we're just gonna go for the <laughs> treasure chest here. Because, yeah, I... Oh, this hurts so much. Really? He even got to attack there. This is just painful. Uh, we need spare dagger. Sure. Oh, this I can also attack with that actually. Yeah, let's remove Juggernaut here. Okay. 
do you like do you have attacks you do not have attacks you are just completely okay we're going for the treasure chest i'm sorry about this this is just this hurts that one round where i went for the we had to burn like three cards on the brute there Spare dagger, this, sure. Okay. You know, Scar, he's moving one. My guy's moving first, which is good. But like, six damage doesn't really matter. Unless I get a double. Gives you hope, though, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, he's moving one. One, two, three, four. He's not going to be able to attack me. Yeah, I... Hmm. I'll go here. <clears throat> uh, he moves one, one, two, three, four. What are we using next turn with you? Oh, shit. He's got like one turn left. Okay. So we're just going to stand here. <clears throat> No. I'll go here and throw a dagger. Double. <laughs> like, it's actually, it's actually kind of tight, isn't it? This guy's almost dead. That's long rest. If I long rest here, I might be in trouble. Let's... Okay, I can decide which one I want to lose. Okay, I could go early. Or I could go late and try and do this. And the top on this one. Let's see. Ooh. One ally within range three may perform attack of five. That would be nice to do next turn. I'm not using this one. I think I'm long resting, actually. If I could get that big attack on the shaman... Uh, that would be good. I want to do the skewer and just freaking and do the freaking chain attack here, maybe. Redraw. Yeah, let's go. Here comes the last round of uh, the brute. Are you kidding me? Did he get to go before me? <laughs> I could go and kill this guy, uh, but I think this is more important.
No healing. No healing. That's fine. That's okay. <clears throat> one, two, three. So if I go one, two, three, four, can I? I can go four. I could finish this, right? Shit. I think I'll have to move, so I'm gonna burn fancy hat. Uh, might might regret that. Mm. One, two, three, four. I can move four. Oh shit! Because I will have to go late with her, and hope that I can do this one. Retrieval. <clears throat> oh no. <laughs> that is so awful. <laughs> It's the last round of this. Really? That couldn't have been worse. No, no. Why did I do that? That was stupid. Yeah, the retrieval and this one. I was going to do that attack as well. So that pretty much destroyed me, in my opinion. <sighs> that means we're doing... Of course not. Doesn't matter either, because he's gonna do the same thing, but I'm not restarting the round. That is cheating. The the problem there is that I don't didn't think about what I want to do with hatchet then. I just got upset. So I didn't make a good move after that. Um Okay. We might be okay if... Oh, freak. Ah, shit, you are correct. Of course he could have. <laughs> that doesn't make anything better <laughs> at the moment. Okay. Uh, let's go. We're trying. Oh, that's gonna... Oh, man. 
Of course, of course. And I had, like, I had the... Oh, shit, I don't have range to hit him. That is unfortunate. Okay, okay. Um, extra lift is a decent one. I think we're gonna go for the retrieval here. We really need, uh... What did he do? Oh, they just stood still, okay. Hmm... <sighs> He has a few cards. This is good. Oh, that's not great. Ooh, thank you, my lady. Oh, shit, that's hot. Okay, not great, because he's going to heal him. I moved before him. Okay, awesome, awesome. He's going to heal himself, though. Do we go... Yeah, I think we do the goggles here. We really need our hatchet back. <laughs> yeah, 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 stand there. We could possibly push someone into... Oh shit, why didn't we keep the push card? That's fine. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> yes, it is, Professor. Why are you freaking shitting me? This is gonna... And then he heals. But, like, this is good again. It's gonna be, like... It's going back and forth here, because... I don't, I can't, I can't let him go and hit me. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god. Damn it, I can't reach the hatchet. Oh, 
I could go for the kill right now, right? That would be my last round, probably. Or I could go back, long rest, get eagle-eyed goggles, and then go for the kill. Yeah, I could do that. But I could also do it with eagle-eyed goggles. I don't think I can lose this if I do it this way. As long- oh shit. I'm getting the boots back. I'm getting the boots back. I can move forward with that. The problem here... <laughs> the, the problem, Professor, is that this gives me two experience points. I would fail my, uh, <laughs> my quest. I don't want to fail my quest. While this... Like, screw that shit. Yeah. I don't care. We're gonna fail that quest, that's fine. One, two, three, I got goggles. He's gonna die. Yeah, he's got shield, but still, I got an attack for six, right? Four hours? No, it's been like two. Oh man. Hey, buddy. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna fail my battle goal. That's fine. Yeah, why not just do it? Man, I did have a curse, though. So, what if I'd gotten both of these? That would have been so sick. We won! We didn't get the chest, though. Fleeing the smell of oh, that was... Oh my god. Yeah, I got no battle goals. I think that was nice. Oh man. Now, of course, like I've said the four first hours for uh, Gloomhaven. I'm... We're gonna do one more now and uh, one more scenario and we'll see how much time there is. We might push things a little bit depending on how much time we have left. But probably it's gonna be one more mission. On your face. Man, I was hoping to get three. With this time and they were thieves and murderers. She's I have one more. Oh, yeah. a dime. If you outside you turn around. Oh, geez, she's been trying So Jexera who sent us there. Warehouse goes pretty quickly, right? That's what I'm thinking as well. So, a thing, for those of you who are interested in the story, Jack Sarah, who sent us over to that place, uh, seems to be a meanie. And some quadrille guard told us that we should investigate her, uh, the Gloomhaven warehouse, hunt Jack Sarah down. So, that's what we're going to do next. We are going for the Gloomhaven warehouse. That's also part of the Red Shiny Pandas quest. Let's level up. <laughs> well, I'm I'm glad to hear it, Daniel. What what time is it at your place now? Hmm. Okay, we're leveling up, and this, Daniel, this is freaking awesome. You level up your people here. Oh shit! I see a bottom attack. Oh, if you killed someone, you get... That's a better attack. Okay. So this is an attack on the bottom. 11 p.m. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're... Yep. Got it. <laughs> okay. So the bottom uh, parts, Daniel, seeing as you are kind of new here to this game, uh, are like usually move actions and stuff. So getting attacks on the bottom is pretty sweet. Uh, this is a burn action, which means I can only use it once. If it kills a target. Oh, 
Oh, you do excess damage to someone next to it. Fearsome efficiency. Okay. I love you, Professor. <laughs> I didn't think of that yet. That is very true. <clears throat> okay. This is a good card. But... I don't see me able to... Use both the favorite and this. That's gonna... Yeah, then I would have to have some card recovery, I think. Move 4. I do think he has a bit of a problem with this movement. But he's a ranged character. No, I think that's fine. So yeah, we're gonna go with Ferris Mephish. It's always gonna be the bottom, right? Or most of the time. The, and the top, the top is great for, like, one attack. But the top here is not... I'm not gonna use that. Because it's a burn, and I can't burn... And you wanna place it out early. I can't burn this and the favorite, like, before the first rest. Because he has only 10 cards, and I like to have my cards. Okay, let's go with Ferrisome Efficiency. That means I... Okay. Follow through. I really like follow through. Yeah. It is, Professor. You're right. <laughs> I like this. The healing, like like the bottom here, I think this is so good. This I need to keep. We might remove this at some point, right? The push is really good. I want to be able to retrieve my favorite. This is my level 2 card. Uh, I'll remove extra lift, I think. It's good. Yeah, but... Okay. Like, we might remove this orienting barrage and... Fancy hat. Like, on the next... Without Barrage. Yeah, I know. So I think we will probably remove those two. Next. 12 initiative is good. Let's remember 12 initiative. That's really good. Uh, plus two is fun. I'll just keep adding some plus twos there. Even though we don't need that much air right now. Let's see what card we get with red shiny panda hair. Okay, okay. Shuffle one bless. That's cool. The next time you grant an attack this turn, add plus one to... Okay, I am going to take this, I think. All attacks targeting you, add plus... Oh, shit. Yeah, the bottom here is probably not going to be dangerous. 13 initiative. 13 initiative. And we did go for this, so this is fantastic with the crushing cold, right? So this is going to be Curses and Dark Magic, yeah. Oh, oh shit. This is also... Oh, that's pretty good. Move 4, Curse Self. Ignore one ally within range 3, may perform move 3. Uh, that's a good one. We're going to go with Taunting Fate, definitely. Yeah, bottom stun. Yeah, the bottom stun I rarely get to use. Uh, and we are kind of going for Frost here, right? 
Could remove this. Okay, it's move four. I, I just, I like the bottom here. Move four. I kind of want to have that. This is fantastic. Or, this is good. Master Influencer. I do want to play Master Influencer. I think the top hair is really good. I like the bottom and the top, honestly. Yeah, this is definitely great with this one. Hello, Victator. Welcome in, man. Glad to have you in here. Um, This is good. I love this. I just, I think this one's so good. Maybe I like this card too much. But also, heal on the bottom is great. This is my healing card. Uh, I think we're gonna remove Signs of the Void. Shit. <laughs> I have no idea what to remove. Uh, okay, maybe we're signed friends, actually. I like the move four, but... What are the cards I am not using? Oh, shit. Mmm. The bottom here is pretty good now. I do get frost quite a bit, right? Burn Resigned Frenzy in the first room on Skellies. Yeah. Well, they have a shield, though. <laughs> so it's this is probably gonna be one attack for one damage right on all of them oh that's a big move um oh yeah 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 because yeah, that works right Would be fun. I hmm. I kind of want this card. Adding, I like adding blessings. That's fun. Um, was it also like? No. Oh, it's damage. No, screw that. I think we're not gonna use it. This one. Can I make the skellies move? I can. That's fun. Would be fun though, Professor. Hmm. Hmm. It's gonna be so many attacks and like... Okay, let's bring Resign Frenzy to this one. But now you give me the problem that I have to remove something else. Damn it. Okay, we take this away. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I like you. I, you are thinking ahead, though, Professor, which is like, yeah, what are we going to do in the next mission? <laughs> I usually don't think that much about the, the next mission when uh, picking cards. You hear screams from the south. As you approach the docks, you see a group of women running toward you in panic. An invasion! Oh. Approach the lurkers cautiously. Yeah. We're gonna try and communicate with them. Yes! People like us now! We have positive reputation. Woohoo! Coffee's working, guys. I have burn a bunch of energy. Okay. Let's look at... He can have another small item. Freaking amazing. Uh, I'll do Mana Potion. Sure, why not? Oh, he doesn't have a single... Yeah, he's gonna have... Because he sold his... Stamina Potion here. Yeah. 
Morty full. Professor, did you have you looked at the crimson scales? Mm, like, there's nothing I want here. <laughs> Are we doing healing? What? He's gonna run around with a healing potion. That feels kind of stupid. Uh, yeah, let's do the stamina potion. I could do power potion, but oh yeah, maybe, maybe actually, yeah. Yeah, right. I think they have like a pre-order going up until the 26th of May right now. <laughs> That's right now. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, should I get this or not? Um, okay. I think we're ready for the Gloomhaven Warehouse. Hey, if you're watching, do follow and sub on YouTube and stuff. Okay, that was... Cheers. Cheers. 